clause. What is even a clause? A clause is a group of words that has a subject, that has a subject, and then a verb. A time clause introduces a clause which are words such as before and after. To form a time clause, you use before, then the subject, and then the verb. Or you use after, then the subject, and then the verb. So with this example that I'm about to show you, I want you to pay attention that a time, a past time clause can be um, in front of a main clause or it can follow the main clause. And what is the main clause? It's actually the sentence, guys. So I took a shower, it's the main clause, and then before is the past time clause, okay? So if you see here, it's gonna be in front so before I took a shower, I exercised, okay? So that is when it's in front of the main clause, okay? Before I took a shower. Perfect. And we're gonna look at another example right now about when the time clause is following the main clause, okay? So I'm going to give you a sentence and it's going to be We celebrated with friends After So it's following the main clause So we celebrated with friends After We finished our project Okay So if you put the time clause before or following um, the main clause it's actually not going to have any difference in the meaning. Just like you can see in this example um, right here. <laughs> we went to dinner after we finished our work. And um, after we finished our work, we went to dinner. So in this example, guys, you see after he exercised, he took a shower. So let's think. Which action do you think he goes first? Hmm. I think he exercised first and then he took a shower. So that's why you have a number one on top of exercise because that's going to be the first action. And then he took a shower. That's the second action that he did. With this example that you see on the screen, you can realize that you can switch them. Like I told you before, and that's not going to change the meaning of the sentence at all. So, let's look at the example below. He took a shower after he exercised. So, in this sentence, you can see he exercised is actually the first action. It doesn't change. Even though it's later on the sentence, is the first action that he did. And he took a shower is the second option. Please notice with this example that when the time pass clause go first, like after he exercised, it goes first. Then we add a comma after the first action. But if we switch it, like the example below, it doesn't have a comma. So it says he took a shower and there's no comma. You don't need to add it. And then after he exercised. And since we didn't get to go to the beach, here's this example at least. Before I went to the beach, I packed some swimsuits. So the first thing I did in this example is pack some swimsuits. And then I went to the beach. That will be the second action. And another thing that we can do now is that is this example. <laughs> we celebrated with friends after we finish our project okay so um what is the first action here it's finish your project they finish their project first and then they celebrate okay okay guys so i hope this can help you to understand better uh, how and when to use past time classes um, such as before and after and, um, and that this can help you with your homework as well. You have to exercise about that. Uh, 
uh, the one in page 84, exercise E2, um, and then also in the page uh, 85, exercise E3. And so um, please watch the video first and then um, do your exercises. And if you have any doubts about how to do your exercise, please write me an email. I'm going to leave the email here so you can write me and I'll be happy to help. Um, have a great week. Take care. Bye.